Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that not every reading is for you. This reading may not be for you. And the timing is still fluid. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I do want to apologize if you hear my stomach rumbling. Um, it's a pretty much a common occurrence. So, you know, you may hear some little stomach grumbles. It's nonstop. And it's not because I'm hungry. It's because I've, I've had a surgery recently on my stomach and it's just the way it is. So, anyhow, um, what do we have for Scorpio? Lovers, unexpected choice in love. So this is an unexpected choice. It's a major choice. This, I mean, when you get the lover's card, this could be love, it could be soulmates, kindred spirits, a perfect union. Um, there could be a sexual connection here, a healing love connection, falling in love, commitment. So it looks to me as though there's there's some sort of sexual connection here or but and it could it could be even more than just a sexual connection we'll just fix that right up should be coming into focus very very soon here it is so yeah there's a there's this deep 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 connection here and it could be unexpected okay um this is somebody that you have some sort of shared values with, you know, deepening a bond perhaps with somebody. That's an unexpected choice in love, okay? What do we have for Scorpio? be playing a different role flute disappointment in a friend or lover so you may be or you may have had disappointment in a friend or lover and you may have somebody else here you're gonna be playing a role now it's a friend or a lover okay and it looks like there's somebody in the background here that is isn't probably happy with the choice that you are making so whatever choice that is being made there's always a choice between two when there's a choice there's somebody that you are disappointed with. You're probably going down another path. You may be connecting with somebody else. If you are in a uh, partnership already and everything is going well, then obviously that portion isn't for you. Um, you're going to be playing a different role this week, though. Put it that way. Ten of Cups reverse. So there's, you know, when you make a choice. There's, when you make a choice between two people, and that the lovers is a choice, okay? You you have to end something, okay? So you may be ending a relationship. You may be ending a relationship with somebody else, okay? The Ten of Cups is uh, relationship problems. It could be the end of a relationship, uh, you know, with somebody that you were happy with at one time or something like that. I feel like you're definitely deepening a bond with, with another person. You may be starting a new relationship. Page of Swords. Nine of Wands. Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's another woman here. There's another woman or another man or another person that has been very, very forceful. You're ending in a relationship with somebody that has tried to force a connection. I think you are choosing another path, right? You're choosing another path by the looks of things. Choosing another relationship. I feel as though... Uh, you know, this is this is somebody that is determined, has worked really, really hard to heal from their wounds, 
So I think that you've been healing for, from some wounds or you've been dealing with some challenges. Maybe you've been dealing with some life challenges. This page of swords is, uh, I don't know what the heck is in that person's hand. I feel like there's somebody that is watching you as well. They may be watching you get into another relationship. They may be, they may be spying on you or they're investigating, you know. There's definitely somebody that is watching you. They're watching you make a move. Okay, you're being watched by another person. This person is probably not happy about your happy relationship, whatever it is that you're getting into. This is a disappoint. You have a friend or a lover that is disappointed in your choice. I think it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel like it's a fire sign. This is somebody that is very jealous. They're jealous of your happiness. They're jealous of your victory, right? He definitely jealous. The Eight of Wands reverse is jealousy. You have a very jealous individual here that may try to stop you from doing something. They may start communicating. They may cause you problems. Judgment. Judgment reversed. So this is this is a, somebody that is having a hard time moving on from a bad choice. They're having a hard time releasing. They're having a hard time accepting that something is over, that a relationship is over. So you're dealing with somebody that's having a hard time. They're having a hard time accepting that it's over. I feel like you're moving on from some sort of bad choice that you have made. You know, you're, you're doing the best thing for you. You're, you're facing your fears by the looks of things with the Nine of Wands. This is somebody that, you know, has persevered through some sort of situation that they've been really, really hurt in. You know, you've gained a lot of strength. I mean, you're a veteran. You're a veteran now. It's not like you're not experienced. You've gained some experience. Now you, you're, you've learned from your wounds and you're moving into something better and you got somebody here that isn't, that is very jealous of your move, the move, the choice that you are making. This person could cause problems. They're enti they feel like they're entitled. They feel like they're entitled. They, they are controlling. Uh, they're revengeful. So you may be dealing with somebody that is revengeful. This is person is unhealthy. They're dramatic. They may be causing some drama. I mean, with the judgment reverse, there's some sort of lies here next to the Queen of Wands reverse. Somebody's lying, okay? They're lying about something. You may have blocked this person. This person may have blocked you for some reason, you know? But they're still watching. They're still watching, 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 watching. They're watching you choose another option, all right? This is all about power and control. So somebody wants to have power and control over you, but it's like they, they but they it's like but they it's almost like they don't want to have a relationship with you, which is weird. Eight of Swords. So this is a reevaluation. Somebody's reevaluating. They're really, really thinking a lot. It is definitely a time of reevaluation with the Eight of Swords. There's some sort of mental conflict here and there's an obstacle in the way. This person may be trying to trap you. They may be trying to put an obstacle in the way, okay? Somebody may be trying to um, hold you back, you know? They may try to make you feel like you're not good enough or try to make you feel like you have to stay in this position, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like you're going to be receiving a message or news from somebody that has hurt you. Okay, because this is somebody that, yeah, that has wounded you or something in the past. I feel like there's going to be a message that comes through that is, it's a con conflict. Okay, it's a conflicting message. This is, this is like a relationship that you've been with. Maybe, I don't know if this person's had children or what. This person may want to, um, they may want to talk to you or something like that. I wouldn't do it if I was you. I feel like they have some tricks up their sleeve. Oh, 
I feel like uh, you're breaking free from something. You're breaking free from a poor decision that you have made. That you and you, it's like you've you've wasted a lot of time staying there. Now you're now you're breaking free from it. Yeah, this is freedom. So yeah, you're breaking free. You're stepping in the new territory. You're going in a new direction, and I think this is exciting. I think you're moving on from a bad choice this week, and you got somebody that doesn't want you to. They don't want you to. So I feel like they're gonna try to to stop you because it's a stop. They may they may want to force you to choose them or choose that other direction or something like that. They're going to be somebody you're, you're going to be receiving some communication from somebody that probably doesn't make you happy. We do have a new beginning here with the fool card. So we have a we have you uh, starting with a clean slate, stepping into new territory, probably blocking this person. You need to block whoever this person is that is trying to force you in some way. This person's trying to control you. You know, they want to cling. There's somebody that wants to cling to you. They want to cling to a past relationship. They still want to keep the control over you. You need to block this person, whoever this person is. And able and in order for you to move on, you need to block them completely. You know, they're keeping you down. They're staying in your energy. And it's like they put you down. All they do is put you down anyway. You know? And I think that you've been expecting them to cause trouble. You know they want to cause trouble. You know they're watching you. You know they're spying on you. You, you know it. Okay? I feel like you need to block them. You need to block them completely. Because you have a new connection here that is much better suited for you. I mean, that's what that lovers is. That is a that is that's a, that's a suitor or a, a partner that you know you are aligned with. It's a perfect match. So you know, I feel like you need to uh, let go. I mean, on the bottom we have the death reverse. That this this holding on is getting old. It's time to release. It's time to let go. So whoever you're dealing with that doesn't want to lose any of your attention or still wants to have control over you, you just need to block them completely and move on and release. I mean, I feel like there's been some sort of temporary stagnation, you know, or indecision or, you know... Um, delay in your own happiness there's, there's been some sort of delay but it's time it's time to go you know it's time to end this poor decision whatever it was because the judgment is a poor decision that has been made by somebody that was unaware lacking aware awareness there's also some sort of guilt here you know, so with the, with the judgment reverse, there's there's guilt, and, and same with the eight of wands. So if there's anything to do with a trial here, or court, or whatever, there's somebody that could be found guilty. Okay, they could be found guilty. If you're dealing with a fire sign and they've been lying, the truth is going to come out, or there, or some there's some sort of truth that is going to come out. There's some sort of revenge here. There's somebody that is lying. There's a big, big, huge lie here. They may be lying about in a relationship or lying about... And there could be some prison. There could be some prison here. I mean, with the Eight of Swords. Somebody could end up in prison for their lies. I do believe there is some truth that is going to come out this week about a connection. Okay? And there is going to be a choice that is made. Somebody is definitely going in a different direction. Um, if there's been some messages, some text messages, emails, something like that, and they've been hidden, there's, they've been kept a secret, they're, they're, they're not going to be kept a secret anymore because this person is revengeful. We have a revengeful person here that wants to get their own way. And when they don't get their own way, they have a fit. They throw a fit. So somebody could throw a fit. 
to keep you trapped, to, you know, get you in trouble or to stop you from doing something. Somebody's trying to stop you from doing something. I do feel as though you are leaving something behind. You are. You're, you're leaving something behind. You're going in a new direction. You're facing your fears. You're being called to take a risk and go in this new direction and leave this situation behind that has kept you trapped. You leave this relationship behind. You got something better here. This is this is a this is a uh, perfect opportunity for peace and harmony and love. Okay. So I feel like this week you have to uh, probably protect yourself. You have to reevaluate whoever this person is. You're going to have to um, turn your back on them. You have to turn your back on this person because they're going to turn their back on you. Trust me, they are. They are going to turn. Do not deal with this person. They may, they may sit, contact you to get some sort of information out of you and then tell everybody to cause problems. You know? Maybe they want to cause problems with your new union or your new partnership or whatever. You got somebody here that is malicious. You do. You absolutely do. And my my advice is to not communicate with this person because they will. It's like their their intent their intent is to get you in trouble. Their intent is to hurt you. All right, so I'm just, I don't know who this person is, but they're very jealous of your happiness, and that's what I see. Good luck.